It is football season in America and the Cowboys are the greatest team on the face of the planet. So that's why I'm wearing this. It's not time for the game yet here soon. So I'm trying to do this video quick. First week of peak phase done. Started off the week with a swim, 400 meters, easy, four times 50 meter catch up drills. Uh, the main set was eight times 100 meter freestyle at a moderate pace, four times 50 meters finger fingertip drag, and then a cool down. That ended up being 2,000 yards, 46 minutes, 31 seconds, two minutes and one second per 100 yards, a little bit slower, but that counts all the time, all the rest time as well. So kind of averages out your pace. I got into the locker room and I was like, man, it stinks in here. They really need to clean up. And then I realized it was me, it was these pants I'm wearing because I took them on a camp out this weekend, but I didn't wear them. They just stayed in the bag. I thought they were clean because when I got home, I just I was like, I'll just wear these. They're not clean. They must have absorbed all the nasty from the dirty clothes that I stuffed in the bag as well. I thought I had them separated. I thought wrong. 125 BPM, 435 calories. Not bad. If you have a car that makes that noise, nobody cares. Nobody cares. My daughter's napping upstairs right now, so I can still hear him. He's probably like a mile off. Nobody cares about your car. In the evening, we did some strength training, landmine squats, uh, some rowing, and some core work. That was 35 minutes, 53 seconds, 222 calories. Wednesday was a tempo run. It's raining, but still got to train. Tempo run, 10 minute warm up, 40 minute moderate pace, 10 minute cool down. I'm about halfway out, 30 minutes or so. Uh, trying to keep it under a 10 minute pace. I was under nine there for the first part of the tempo run. Well, I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm pushing hard to take advantage of the cooler weather and get some anaerobic benefit out of this. That's the 40 minute tempo done. Ooh, my heart rate's almost 190. 10 minutes, slow, all the way home. It was six miles, 172 BPM, one hour and five seconds, 10 minute and one second per mile pace. I don't know why I love this. I like running in the rain. It's just something different than running in good conditions. Thursday, interval bike training. Today is an interval ride. So I'm gonna do a loop that I normally do that has some tough sections in it that I'll use, that I'll loop a few times just to get to an hour and 15. Uh, warm up with 15 minutes. Then it was supposed to be six times five minutes at high intensity and then it'll cool down to 15 minutes. But what I ended up doing is I just, I went on a route that I like to go on. It's like a three or four mile loop and it's got some hills 
at certain points and some straightaways at certain points. And in between, there's enough time to rest. So that's what I did. I just rested in those kind of flat, easy sections and in those, in the sections that I was either going up a hill or had a long straightaway that I could get down on the arrow bars, that's when I gave, gave some really hard effort. Ended up being a, a great ride. about to hit my little heartbreak hill here. You'll see it when I turn the corner. See that hill right there? Here we go. Twenty point six miles roughly. 1 hour, 15 minutes, 22 seconds, 16.4 mile per hour average speed, 142 BPM. It's a good ride. My legs are dead. Peak training is no joke. Oh. Friday was supposed to be some speed drills. Um, with like a 400 meter warm up then one arm drills and 10 times 100 meter sprints and then some uh, high elbow and then a cool down. I ended up just doing the half Ironman distance at, you know, not at race pace, but just kind of relaxed just to get it, get the workout in because I was really feeling the work from this week my body was feeling really fatigued so I just kind of did the distance and I did not film because it, around two-thirds of the way into my swim the water aerobics class showed up let me I'll just I'll illustrate what happened to you because I didn't get any footage so come with me okay let's say that this whiteboard is the luxurious LA Fitness pool. They have three lanes. So I was in the middle lane. And, you know, I've got some characters here, uh, some of my daughter's toys, just to represent um, some of the actors involved. So I'll just uh, pick one for me, just at random. Uh, we will say badass uh, dinosaur. Uh, no, let's go Red Hulk. No, we'll do Super Cool Jet. Okay. And so Super Cool Jet me is swimming back and forth, doing my laps as any normal swimmer would do. And then say about 1700 yards in, I start to notice some characters trickling in uh, say over here where the stairs are here's the stairs so we've got a uh, pandy cat and she comes in and she's got her little water weights she's chilling out Gabby Gabby cat comes in and she's chilling out with pandy uh, alternate universe uh, Gabby cat also comes in and you know there there's like a few of them chilling out in this one lane and I'm still doing my thing so we're good uh, you know DJ catnip comes in and is chilling out I don't own the rights to any of these so this is just a random representation uh, Yoshi jumps into the pool on here nobody's getting in my lane we're still good we're still good uh, uh, toad decides to join in on the far third lane. Uh, Luigi also joins in, far third lane. So I've got an audience at this point. I'm still going, stand up. Stand up, Toad. You're useless. Um, so back and forth, back and forth. Doing great, minding my own business. Um, then, let's say, uh, 
uh, piranha plant comes in and starts to notice, look at this, at this middle lane and says, ooh, that's uh, nobody, none of my friends are in that lane. So she literally puts one leg over, right? And I'm like still going back and forth, literally still going back and forth. I have not paused. This is a continuous swim. Puts one leg over. I see this as I'm underwater. Steps over into my lane, right? And just starts chilling out right here. Just chilling out in the middle of the lane. I am now forced to, well, so, so you know, if you've, if you've swam in a, in a pool, this is like your, your wall marker, letting you know that the wall's coming up. And it runs along the bottom of the pool like that. And it also kind of splits the lane evenly. So instead of taking up the middle of the lane, I decide, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm, I'm almost done with my swim. I'm gonna switch over here. So I'm going back and forth, back and forth in one half of the lane. This uh, piranha plant gives courage uh, to Sky over here. And Sky decides, I'm gonna chill out in this lane too. So she jumps over and I, they do notice that I'm swimming. I can tell they do. Um, so they decide to chill out in the lane that I was taking. So then I just don't say anything. I get over into this lane and now I'm using the other lane back and forth here, okay? They haven't started their class yet. They're all just milling about. And then more join in. Batgirl decides to jump in. She's like, ooh, let me hang out with my buddies over here. There's so many people in this pool at this point and I'm still maneuvering my way in half of lane in the LA fitness pool. Sorry, Gabby. Gabby, pay attention. Okay, just chill out. And going back and forth and it's like I'm not even there. They don't even, they don't even care. So I finish my swim and I go up and I say hi and they're very friendly and uh, really that was that was it. I, I finished my swim. I did the distance I wanted to do and right as I was done the instructor walked in and started their water aerobics class and that's the story of my swim workout on Friday. I got swarmed by water aerobics attendees and that was it. They own that pool. It was very territorial. I felt if I'd have got aggressive, then I'd have been swarmed. Just like, get the hell out of our pool, what are you doing? And that would have been the end of me. But I decided to be polite, because it was a very cordial situation. Nobody, I feel like nobody really did anything wrong. They didn't make an effort to get in my way. But they certainly, I feel like, were passively communicating to me that, hey, shit's about to go down. You need to get out of the pool, so. Luckily, I was almost done with my workout. Noted, Fridays at 9 a.m. are water aerobics start time. So, that's what happened. I was supposed to get in a long brick on Saturday, but I had an event that I had to be at that evening. I didn't want to be completely exhausted for it because it was supposed to be a four hour ride followed by a one hour run. And I, I just, it was gonna be a long night. I didn't get home until about midnight. It was uh, the second annual gala for my nephew Jack's foundation um, that we started in his honor. So you, I'll, I'll talk more about that in a future video, but I didn't wanna be exhausted. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next week. It's going to be another week of peak training, so it's going to be a tough week. And then I've got some races on the weekend. So it's going to be, next video should be pretty fun as well. So uh, thanks again, and I'll see you later.